and we should have a special uh, Ultimate Masters unboxing here. We're gonna take a look, open some packs, take a look at what we get. Uh, it's a special little treat while the rest of our players are drafting their guild to Ravnica. So joining us at the table is Jake the Tech Guy, who will be opening up the box of Ultimate Masters for us. Uh, well, I and Ben later in the broadcast will be joining as your hosts for the evening. All right. I am <coughs> pretty excited about this Ultimate Masters. Uh, it's on the pricey side, but the cards in it are very exciting, and drafting and playing seal with it looks super fun. I am particularly excited to do some sort of graveyard shenanigans, some reanimation. Uh, white has a lot. I know black-white is a pretty good reanimation archetype uh, with some several big hits like the Eldrazi uh, with Emrakul and Ulamog and Kozilek and all those great guys and let's see red green has some madness and here we see the ultimate box topper look at that beautiful we're gonna put that on the side that's special so these are some of our old masters packs the ultimate box topper is included in every sealed box of ultimate masters it is a uh, special edition of a set number of rares and mythics that are also included in the set so these are cards like Liliana the Veil, Vengevine, some of the lands like String Wildwood, um, Cavern of Souls, some pretty nice ones in there that are for special edition and are often worth a little bit more than their contemporaries. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me, I am still a little under the weather. We're going to go ahead and open up our very first pack here of our Ultimate Masters. Let's see, what are we hoping for? Something, something real spicy first would be really nice. Maybe a Planeswalker, a Liliana the Veil would be nice. Oh, there's the very nice Elemental Token. And that's a Slum Reaper. That's a very nice, that's a Foil Slum Reaper. That's a pretty good card for the Black White Reanimation deck. And a Mana Vault, very nice. Uh, strong Commander card. Uh, it's a little on the reflection -y side, if you could tilt that down a little bit. Perfect, right there. Um, so this is a one mana artifact that you can tap to make three colorless mana. Uh, it doesn't untap during your uh, your untap step, but you can pay some mana to do so. Um, this card accelerates you really fast into the big Eldrazi threats uh, that we can find in this Ultimate Masters set. Um, and besides that, it's also just a very valuable commander card. Here we see some of that white reanimation that we were talking about earlier. This is Miraculous Recovery. This is instant speed uh, reanimation, and it also puts a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, the instant speed is important for some of the big Eldrazi threats because they have a clause that makes them shuffle back into your library when they hit the graveyard. But you can get past this by responding uh, to the shuffle trigger with an instant speed reanimation, like Miraculous Recovery. Uh, this is a Hero of Heroics. This is a this was a rare back in the Theros block. Uh, this is a key card for any of the white heroic decks archetypes for draft and seal. Uh, especially strong looking as green white or red white heroic. Golgari Thug is an important card we see in modern for dredge. Golgari Thug is a very valuable card too. Yeah. To see it being reprinted at uncommon is pretty awesome. Uh, welcome Ben to uh, the broadcast oh, thank you very much fox i appreciate that there's a think twice that was a that used to be a thing <laughs> it used to be a thing i have lots of think twices that was card, when i started the card is yeah. super, super strong rune snag same thing used to be a very powerful card used masking root wall it was kind madness of a, zero. yeah <laughs> gotta um, love that good old madness the red green madness archetype looks pretty good in draft for mm -hmm. uma uh, Grave scrabbler there it can grab you a creature that's in your graveyard and put it on top of your deck so, yeah, so okay. Then, is that the one if you paid its madness, though? Yeah, right? if you paid the madness card. And there's the King of Madness, Wild Mongrel. So this is a perfect synergy with Basking Rootwalla. Yeah, I, I played Blue White or Blue Green Madness back in Odyssey Block. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And there is a card I'm very excited for. That's foil? foil. That is some sweet art. Downshifted to common, so now we get it's some... It's proper legal foil. Proper huh? legal. 
I'm very excited. I hey, you can, and it's a lot easier to get foil foils now. It is. It's yeah. much easier to get foil foils. And there's Conviction is an important card for that oh, white that's heroic. Some sweet art. And Reckless Charge. <laughs> important for that red white heroic. Demir Guildmage is the only Guildmage in the set. Interesting. Uh, but it's very good. It's good. It's Demir Guildmage yeah. is very good in the uh, Important as opposed to the newer Guildmages is these, when you use their abilities, they don't tap yeah. themselves. So you can yeah. activate them multiple times in a turn. Yeah, and that one has the ability to refill your hand and rip your opponent's hand apart. Uh, our, our bear was uh, Mana Ball. Sweet <laughs> art. Sweet art. Anyway, take a closer look at those words. Those pretty, pretty words. Uh, have you looked at the UMA? Spoilers? Yeah. Yeah, I looked at the a list of the cards. I didn't look at any of the art. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some uh, that, some, like, like I said, that reckless charger that was real sweet. Some really nice. Uh, I saw the mana vaults when I was looking through the box toppers. Mm. Um, I'm really excited for the mana vault. I could use a copy. That's a common. So they are reversed. These packs. Yeah. They're the Japanese yeah. format. Um, Original Magic format as well. Right. So those two commons are very important for the madness and enablers. Yeah. You know this. Set, this set seems like they're trying to force you into some very. It's very graveyard themed. Yeah. Uh, turn to mist. That's is a good one. A pretty nice one. Doesn't it really have a home? Nah, not a, not unlimited. Kodama's Reach is one of the only Such color fixing. A sweet reprint. Yeah, I like the original art a little bit better for my too. personal preference, but it's a it's a card that needed a reprint. Um, they gave it a nice touch. Looks good. Uh, Death denied. Return X target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah. Uh, black black X and it uh, interestingly is arcane. So we yeah. can splice things like Through the Breach and... Um, yeah, there is a Through the Breach in the set. And Goryo's Vengeance. I and Goryo's Vengeance the and the red uh, Man Accelerant. Uh, oh, Desperate <laughs> Ritual? Yeah, Desperate Ritual. That's it. <laughs> that was a Patchwork Golems. Shed Weakness. Yes. That's a very recent card. That's a little recent, yeah. Uh, a little disappointed in that takes one. Takes care of minus one, minus card, one counters because it persists very is a minor, uh, oh, minor Reckless theme. Worm. Did they reprint Arrogant Worm in this set? Or just the Reckless? Oh, which one is Arrogant? It's, it's a Reckless Worm, but it's green. No. It's the original. No, it's just Reckless Worm. All right. Getting into... Oh, yeah. Good old <laughs> Terramorphic Expanse. That's all over the place. The other common uh, mana fixing in the set. Important. Become Immense is a very nice delve. Yeah. Um, so six mana, you can delve it up to five cards and pay that one green mana and get plus six plus six, six. plus six at the yeah. end of turn at instant speed. Yeah, that card would have been cool with some new art, but I'll mess with classics, I guess. Artisan of Kozilek. One of those big old drowsy threats we were talking about earlier for those black-white reanimator decks. Yeah. When you cast it, you get something back from a graveyard. It's a double reanimate, basically. Yeah. Which is pretty I mean, sweet. it is. it is like nine mana. Stream of Consciousness? I'm not sure what that one does. Shuffles up to four target cards from their graveyard into their library. Uh, target player. And it's an arcane. Oh, okay. Um, so... Are you able to read that? No. I, no, you just I, know what it does. I know it, yeah. Gotcha. I, I was reading spoilers. Um, <laughs> the... What is it? Give There's... you a point if you can tell me what uh, what set it was originally printed in. Uh, Kamigawa? Which one? There's three Kamigawas. Dude, man. No, I got no idea. I can give you, you block. It's I can't do that. <laughs> well, I mean, it has a freaking Rato the, on the yeah, arch. Yeah, it's got the Shinto arch. Uh, that's a Sublime Archangel. This is a pretty sweet limited bomb. Is that the one that gives everything exalted? Everything gets exalted. I need Other creatures. One of those. Yeah, yeah, that's sweet. The card is. Uh, this is the first time it's ever been reprinted, actually. <gasps> and the token is the foil. Oh, the foil first. Olivia's Dragoon. That's a pretty sweet one. Uh, it seems enabler. like a very strong limited card. It is enabler for um, the black red man. Well, it's also a two two for two. It is a two man fly. It's a good bear. Yeah. For this set, it's a great bear. Yeah. And a Drake token. And a sweet Drake token. Got to keep all our tokens together. I yeah. Wish had, that's it. wish they had done new art for tokens. This is supposed to be the final master yeah. set. They could have busted out something really <laughs> awesome. And you would have been very excited about that. Some new yeah. token art. More cards to collect. Or, like, not just doing the tokens for the cards in the set. Do, like, tokens that have never been done before. Oh, like they did with, um... Uh, Unstable. Yeah. 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 That'd be pretty sweet. All right, let's see. Are we starting from the commons, or are we going to start at the rare? I think he's separating it out. Ooh, he did. Yeah. So we got another uh, deranged alchemist, Terramorphic. 
Stitch Drake. That's a pretty sweet one. Three mana, three, four flyer. Get a discard a card. Uh, exile a creature from your graveyard. Gotcha. Eel Umbra. Umbra. That's All sweet. the Umbras are, have always been super sweet and limited. And Boggles is reprinted. So you Slippery can, Boggles has been Slippery, reprinted. Yeah, so you can play Boggles and Limited, man. That's pretty dope. You can draft Boggles. Crushing Canopy, classic. That card is so good. Slum Reaper is really sweet. There's another Ooting good... Mandrill. Right? Woo! So this is the green version of Gurmag Angler. You know, Gurmag Angler is bigger, but I think this card is better. It's got Trample. Yeah. I like that much better. Yeah. I play this in Popper. This goes in my Mono Green Stompy. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. The card is very good. And it's got Mandrills. And then you see Jake's face. Yep. That Amir... didn't come in the pack, though. That's Amir's Servitor. I it believe it Servitor. when it enters the battle. Or at the beginning, you get another one. Uh, every Mirror Servitor in a graveyard comes into play from all graveyards. Gotcha. So if you get a oh, whole yeah, they bunch, fix each other. Yeah. A unicorn. Burnham Unicorn blows up enchantments when you sack it. It's a bear. You know, that card, they've reprinted that, that effect a couple times. Silver Chase Fox? Yeah. A couple uh, of The ones. first one was Kami of Ancient Law. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. I know all the Fox ones. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was Ingot oh. Chewer. That was pretty sweet. Homunculus. Homunculus token. That goes with... Puppet Conjurer? I don't know if Puppet Conjurer is like that. Set. Uh, Forbidden Alchemy. That's a really sweet I one. I really like this card. I, uh, the blue-black like Lab Maniac deck, it looks great. Is Lab Maniac in this set too? Uncommon. Wow. Just mill yourself out and win the game. All right. Uh, Weld Hunger. That's a sweet one for that red-green aggressive kind of deck with Flashback. Trust three plus one and Trample. Wow. What we got? What we got? Lava Spike. Nice reprint. Yep. Oh, it it's is, got some sweet art, too. It's got some sweet art. And it's at Uncommon. Uh, our good friend, um, Alex, who comes on the stream as Lone Gulf here, uh, play, drafted some Burn Yeah. for UMA, and I'm assuming yeah. he had several Lava Spikes. Yeah, that'd be an Uncommon. I mean, it would have been cool as a Common, but can't have everything perfect. And Golgari Grave Troll. Excellent dredge card. Yeah, yeah. From a limited standpoint, dredge is very strong. Unfortunately, this card has been banned in modern. Yes. And then it was unbanned. And then banned again. And then rebanned. I have I have the original printing of Gar Grave Troll. Yeah. One of my one of my ones that I have. Yeah. And, and the shiny is a blue. Foil is a deranged assistant. So we have uh, three deranged assistants currently in two packs. Yeah, it's pretty good. It mills. Makes you a mana. Yeah. It's a pretty good card. Yeah, I like it. Is it a 1-2? I think it's a 1-2. I'm not sure. I, I Honestly, I thought it was a deranged alchemist, and oh, I, I don't know what it does. <laughs> it feels top card, make a mana. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Pretty sweet for That's graveyard base strong. decks. strong. Yeah. Uh, Mill your whole library. 2 mana, 1-2, I believe. And you can... Does it require him to tap? It does require him to tap. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. Faith's Fetters. There's some great white removal. Yeah. Also turns off Planeswalkers because of an enchant's permanence. Yeah. And Planeswalkers weren't a thing at the time it was printed. Face Fetters is from Kamigawa Block, right? I believe. Uh, original Ravnica. Ah, uh, okay. So, well, they knew what they were doing. Yep. They Fiery were... Timber, there's a sweet one. One of the great uh, commons for the set. Madness yeah. of one red. You could basically get to light bolt. bolt something. Yeah. Ghoul Caller's Accomplice, you can exile itself from a graveyard, and you make a 2-2 two, two black zombie token. It's a good one. Recursive, very nice. <coughs> Prey Upon, classic, been reprinted a number of times recently. Um, fights, yeah, fighting, fighting's good. Crow of Dark Tidings, interesting. Angelic Renewal, needed a reprint. Sweet original art. Who's a Thermal Alchemist? Yeah, so Thermal Alchemist is a common now. Or it was always a common, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it was. Always a common. I had one in my Popper deck. Yeah, I played Popper Burn for a while. Not bad. They printed Very some sweet. Uh, <coughs> good bread burn creatures recently. Definitely not a fan of this card. Vessel of Endless Rest? Yeah. It's it's a lot of mana for not a powerful effect. Well, it's also one of the very. It's like there's three color fixing cards in the set. Yeah, and this is one. Oh, of from the a limited three. standpoint, it's a good card. I I just really don't from think what in a limited does, standpoint. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tethmos High Priest. This is has heroic. Uh, you can return a creature with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to your battlefield. Wow. So you can grab back your unicorns and your. It's also dragoons. a three mana two two. It looks like that is a sweet token. Whoa. Is it a citizen. That has never been printed as a token before. What 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 do you make what makes citizens? I'm not sure in this set. We need yak yak. 
Is he here? He should be coming. And we're gonna find yeah. out what makes citizens. There's a circular logic? That's pretty yeah, sweet. That card very good. It has a madness of one. It does. But you would need an instant way to dis to discard it. Yeah. Which well, there's a quite a few. Wild mongrel options. exists. Wild mongrel, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Wild Mongrel, man. Back in the day, that card, all the removal was limited to colors. <laughs> so you couldn't remove black creatures. Mm. And, and Wild Mongrel can change his color by discarding a card. And this is Anger, one of the cycle of creatures that has a uh, per or not a static effect while it's in well, the graveyard. While it's in the graveyard, as long as you control a, a basic land of its color. Right. So if you control yeah. a mountain and it's in a graveyard, all your creatures get haste. Yeah. Um, it is definitely <laughs> the second best one, I believe. Uh, Brawn is the other one. Is the green one gives trample. Yeah. There's the black one. Filth gives a uh, swamp walk, I believe. Swamp walk. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if there was a white one besides Glory. I'm not familiar with the whole well, cycle. So Glory, uh, you can pay three to give all your guys protection from a color. Oh wow. Yeah. Ooh, through the breach. Through the breach. That has some real sweet art. That so is. this is a card from Kamigawa, well before the Eldrazi were ever a thing, but. The card is basically exclusively played with Emrakul in Modern, and so they have updated the art to show Emrakul showing up through it's the bridge. pretty sweet. Yeah. When I saw that one as the box topper, I was real excited. <gasps> sleight of Hand. I need wow. some of those. So, Sleight of Hand is a card that has only ever been printed twice in foil. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And is it Until one of them? now. This, wow. is, oh, this is the third this one. This is the third one. Yeah. That's still pretty good. Yeah. That's the eighth edition art, I believe. Uh, sleight of hand uh, showing up in some of these storm decks in modern. Yeah, it's it's a very good cantrip. Um, it allows you to filter the top two. Right. Choose one and put one <laughs> the, the other one on the bottom. It effectively says scry two, draw one. Yeah. Which would make it preordained. Yeah. So. But you have to draw one. Dispersal it's discovery. Good. Yes. Surveillance is, to draw is new preordained. Is new preordained. Yeah. Yeah. The one mana is worth the surveil, I think. I mean, it's not going to see play in Legacy, because oh, Preordain exists, yeah. but... Uh, that is an Into the Wind from the Innistrad blocks, Madness of One Cost. It bounces something, I believe. It does. bounces yeah. something. There's another you know, sweet face fetters. Face fetters. Whirlwind Adept, Hexproof, Prowess 3, 2 for 5. Wow. The blue-white heroic deck. Uh, that looks like a 4-2. Oh, it's a 4-2. My mistake. Wow, yeah, that makes that's sense. That's really sweet. good. Give a flying... Yeah. Yeah, Flight of Fancy. Oh, Awful Snout. Awful Snout. There's an Evoke card. It exiles something from a graveyard. One With, card, I believe. Yes, one card and Flash Speed. Yeah. Or Instant Speed. Eel Umbra. I'm not too sure what that one is. Uh, Staunch Hearted Warrior. It's a 4 it's mana 2-2. Two, two, heroic gains 2 plus and plus yeah. 1 counters. Uh, the green ones all were stronger. Mm -hmm. They all got 2 counters. Martyr of Sands. Yeah, that's a really good card. Um, you can reveal any number of white cards and gain double that much life. Yep. There's an Arena Athlete. That's for the red-white heroic uh, target creature in opponent controls can't block this turn. Yeah. God's, God's Willing. God's Willing. is a sweet white heroic archetype card. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice, and you get to scry one. Yeah. For one mana. Yep. Soulfire, sweet card. A uh, creature deals pam uh, damage equal to its power to any target. Instant speed for three mana. Yep. Quite strong. Elementals. 1-1 one, one red elementals. So or, is there a young pyromancer in this set? Uh, young peasy... No? Mm. It's the um, Molten uh, Rebirth. Is the, is the card that uh, makes okay. those ones. Wow. Prismatic Lens. That's a nice art. Golgari Charm. Now, did they put a full cycle of charms in oh, here? Of course not. Just to go guard. Yeah, like a one guild mage and like one or two charms. Vengeful Rebirth is a sweet <laughs> red green reanimation. Oh, sorry, it goes back to hand. Yeah. Um, but then it deals damage equal to its CMC. If yeah. it's a creature, you go back. And uh, any any non land will will blast something. Oh, yes, you're right. And I'm not too sure it gets exiled. Uh, it exiles itself. Does it? Yep. The bottom line. Oh, okay. I missed that. I thought that was flavor text. And here it is, the moment of truth. Bridge from below. Hey. Uh, making waves very in modern very recently. Card. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I believe whenever a creature goes from 
your non token. Non token creature goes from your graveyard to your library, you make a zombie. Uh battlefield to graveyard. You make a oh, two okay. two zombie. And then it has to be in a graveyard for its effect to activate. Yeah, that's it. And if an opponent's creature goes to graveyard, it's it gone. Exiles itself. Um, so we see this in modern playing with things like Walking Ballista and Hangerback Watcher, which you can play for X for zero, so they just sack themselves as soon as you play them. Shiny Death Denied. Shiny Death Denied. And you make a whole bunch of army of zombies and Reckless Bushwhacker and you yeah. can just win. Bushwhacker of Doom. I kind of want to build an 8-whack deck. Yeah? Yeah. Just, I like the name. It makes me laugh. That's very nice. Well, let's see what we got in this one. Is that Colfinar's? Canker Abomination. Canker Abomination. Uh, target you when it comes into play. Target opponent and it gets minus one minus one counters equal number of cards. In there. Uh, no, sorry. Each creature that player controls. So oh, okay. If they've got nothing, it's a four mana six six. Yeah. With black green hybrid. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's playable for sure. There's another rune snag. Yeah. Mad Prophet is a sweet enabler for. Yeah, that red. card is really good. Haste discard a card, draw a card. It's a it's a haste uh, rummager. Yeah. Mona of the Unhollowed makes two black zombie creature tokens and is flashback for seven. Not bad and limited. Not bad and limited. Four mana make two two twos. Seven mana make yeah. two two more two twos later down the line. Yep. What definitely is relevant. Fume Spitter. Fume Spitter. This card is very good. Um, yeah, back in the day there was a card uh, Shire. Okay. Uh, Shizo's Caretaker. Which is also in the set. Is it really? Yes. Wow. Uncommon. Wow. So for those of you at home that don't know what it does, uh, at the end of your turn, any one power creatures that were sent to your graveyard this turn come back. <coughs> a Fume Spitter and... Um, yep, Fume Spitter. Yeah. Fume Spitter was the big one back in the day. Some pretty sweet one cost, or one power creatures in the set. <coughs> Blood Pet was also in uh, standard mm, or Blood Pet. at the time. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, so this is Sky Spirit Cavalry, Flying Double Strike for five mana. It's a 2-2. So two, two. Two. Yep. That seems like a Generation 1 Double Strike type creature. Yes. <laughs> Flying double strike? Yeah. Well, I mean, just five mana for two power with double strike. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, that Molten Birth you were talking about. Yep. That's the one you get to flip a coin if yes. you win, it comes back to your hand, it right? It does. So recursive. Uh, uh, it's pretty sweet. Two one ones. Yeah. Even if you only get one use out of it, it's two, still two one ones for three, which is not an awful payoff. Right. Ooh, Star Star Ooze. Is it Ooze Garden in this set? Uh, miming ooze. Oh, okay. Three mana, make an ooze equals bloom veil. Yeah. Three mana, four four flying defender with flash. With flash. A little tough on the mana. Blue white hybrids all the way across. There's a boneyard worm. I'm not sure what that one does. Uh, it has power and equal the number of creatures in your graveyard. Yes. Gotcha. Um, so the black green dredge. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's a two mana creature too. Yeah. There's a desperate ritual with new wow. art. Wow. I like that art. I'm glad that they went with the Aki style goblin instead of updating it. I yeah yeah I, yeah they're really cool. Yeah, the Aki, the Aki the, goblins were weird. They were very weird. Japanese goblins and a Tassiger, the Golden Fang. Some I don't I just don't know what to think about this one with the bear chest Tassiger. Well, doesn't he have a whip in his hand too? Yeah yeah. It's kinky. Hey, some he's, people, he's also very young looking. He he looks, he looks a little too young. Yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and got a red foil. foil. Uh, reckless another worm. reckless worm. <coughs> yeah, it seems like they're they picked an archetype that they wanted to see appear in Magic again and just like built a set around it is yeah. kind of what it seems. So madness, yeah. um, dredge. Madness, dredge, reanimation. and reanimation is this seems to be the big ones. It's very graveyard. And self mill with the blue. Yeah. But I'm really glad to see that this master set. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's not a modern master set. Yeah. But they, they reprinted a lot of things that players have been asking for. Like, Mana Vault got a reprinting. There was another Noble Hayek reprint. Yeah. Um, yeah, that card definitely needed. Back Gattuck to Basics. Teague as well. Gattuck Teague. Back to Basics. You know, 
I could have lived without seeing a Back to Basics reprint. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Treasure Cruise is a sweet Delve card. Uh, yeah. Draw three cards for eight with Delve. Is that the is that a with that creature? Scuzzback Marauders Trample Persist 5-2 for four. Persist. Uh, sorry, for five. Yeah, so there's a mild persist thing yeah. going on. Shed shed uh, weakness. Shed weakness is helpful. Yep. Aether snipe. I like that card. Evoke you can yeah. So now that's that's interesting. It's card. one of the few evoke creatures that triggers when it leaves the battlefield as opposed to entering. Yes. Yeah. So you could just pay the mana for a big blue, yeah. blue creature. Yeah, but you won't get that effect. Where like as like Shriek Maw, it, it does it on ETB. Right. Uh, Verdant Eidolon is a nice card. Four mana, two two. You can I think pay. That's the best one. You can pay green to sack it, and you add three mana of any color to your great your um, mana pool. To your mana pool. Thank you. Yep. And then uh, whenever you cast a multicolored spell, you can return it to your hand Correct. from your graveyard. Mammoth Umbra. There's another one of our Umbra cards. So yeah. all the Umbras have totem armor. So whenever the enchanted creature would die. Would be destroyed. Would be destroyed. Yeah. You can um, sack the you have to sack one of your totem armors instead. Correct. Yeah. It's not a choice, unfortunately. And if you have multiple totem armors, you only lose one. Yes. And then a third Thermo alchemist. alchemist. <laughs> double cleave. Her creature gains double strike until end of turn. Is that instant speed? It is instant That's speed. That's pretty good. I mean it's no team or battle rage, but you can cast it for white. You have a scuzz back? Yeah. Double cleave it. <laughs> <laughs> Wild hunger it. Yeah. <coughs> I just like the name Scuzzback. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Angel so of Despair. So this card got shifted down in rare. It did. It used to be by rare. two, I believe. Oh, is it a mythic rare? I believe it was. Ooh. But the card is real sweet. Has a nice reanimation target. Yeah. There's a snake umbra. Yeah, again one with of the umbras. One of the sweeter umbras with that. Whenever it deals combat damage or damage to an opponent, you draw cards. Yeah, not necessarily combat damage. Yeah, so, so you got any finger. damage. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, Sneak Umber is one of the top five Umbers, I believe. There's the Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw, sweet card. Evoke for three. Um, it also has Fear, which is nothing to shake a stick at. Oh, no. Especially in um, Limited. Oh, Caracas. And a sweet Caracas. Wow. Bounce a target and legendary creature to its owner's hand, or you can just make white mana with it. I mean, it would have been cool for new art again on Caracas, instead of reusing the Judge Promo art again, but... It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a nice one. Another reprint is pretty good. <gasps> Ooh, oh. Flo Urborg. Yeah, very that's nice. nice. There's a sweet one. Yeah, that card is very good. Uh, makes all land swamps in addition to their other stuff. So it doesn't replace what they normally do. It just also adds that they're all yeah. swamps. Uh, combos pretty well with Filth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, and, that'd be and Cabal Coffers. Filth would be pretty sweet uh, to see in the set, but I think they didn't I don't think make they that a combo. It'd yeah. be a little obnoxious to play against. <laughs> well, I mean, Dredge is pretty obnoxious to play against already, yeah. and I don't know if you've played against Madness before. I have. It's pretty. It's pretty obnoxious. I've been playing since Return. Oh, I guess Madness was a thing in Eldritch Moon. Yep. As soon as I saw Madness appear in Eldritch Moon, I was really hoping for a Basking Rootwaller reprint. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's an Aether Snipe there, yeah. and there's a Terran Morphic Expanse. There's another Treasure Cruise. Treasure Cruise. I'm glad they didn't shift that one up in rarity. Yeah, me too. This is Defy Gravity. Flashback, instant speed, target trick against flying until end of turn. It's pretty good. Walker of the Grove, big 7-7 seven, seven with Evoke. Uh, when it leaves the battlefield, you make a 4-4 four, four green yeah. elemental token. So this one of the other ones. Evoke yes. creatures that when it leaves. Uh, but I think Slumber it's Evoke Reaper. is 5 mana. It is 5 for a 4-4. Four, four. Hooting, Hooting Mandrels. An arena athlete, shielding plaques. That card is very good. Right, so three mana, uh, blue green high red mana for one. Uh, enchant creature when it enters uh, the battlefield, you draw a card. So pretty sweet already. Yeah. And enchanted creature has shroud basically. Uh, well, it's actually very specific. Oh, I'm sorry, hexproof. Can't be the target. No, specifically can't be the target of spells your opponent's control. Spells or abilities uh, no, your opponent's yeah. control. Okay. So if I cast that on your guy. You can't do stuff to it. Yes. This came up in a commander game, actually. I was playing against a Brago deck, and he had a uh, Lavinia of the Tenth. And I shielding plaques at Lavinia of the Tenth, so I was not getting um, nice. detained every turn. And this is, uh, that's Resurrection. Just straight, yeah. reanimate, yep. and white. Four, Four mana. Four mana, bring something back. Sweet. I'm in. It is sorcery speed. Yeah. Uh, Swift Reckoning. That destroys target tapped creature. Yes, it is sorcery it's... speed, but spell mastery gives it flash. Right. 
And urban evolution, a little off color for the blue green um, draft yeah. archetype. Yeah, blue green doesn't seem to be very synergistic so far. No. But urban evolution is a sweet card. Rogue's Passage. That's, a, that's a game ender right there. Oh, yeah. Yes, I will give my Ulmog's <laughs> Crusher uh, yep. unlockable. Oh, Sovereign wow. of Last Alara. Lost Alara. That card is very good. Is this the one? It grabs uh, yes. auras? Yes, so, yeah, it has Exalted, <laughs> and if a creature you control attacks alone, uh, you get to search your library for any aura and put it in onto the battlefield enchanting that This creature. is super sweet when combined with Eldrazi Conscription. Yes, which is also in this set, I believe. I have been prepping for this set. I'm going to get those name that cards. I'm ready. Eel Umbra. Shiny Eel Umbra. Foil Eel Umbra. I think the Foil Urborg wins so far, though. Oh, oh yeah. That's the, I think that's the coolest card Jake opened. Good job, Jake. I mean, the Mana Vault's real sweet. And that, sh that Sovereign's a Lost Alara. And the Caracas. Cool. I mean, if this had been the first time Caracas had been reprinted... Okay, yeah. yeah it had been a lot sweeter. But because it was reprinted in uh, Eternal Masters, mm. loses a little bit of its sweetness. Still pretty sweet. Yeah. There's another Mad oh. Prophet. Yak Yak, we had a question for you. Oh, what in this set? The, uh, he messaged me. It's the Akathian Criers. Oh, okay. Just the Wind. Wingsteed Rider. There is a common bomb. So it's a 3-mana 2-2 two, two flying with Heroic. And it gets bigger. It gets a 1-1 one, one wow. counter. That is a common bomb. So for uh, there's, there's another common there's bomb. There's another common bomb. <laughs> Real big fish. Fun band. Fume spitter. Uh, interesting of note, fume spitter can target itself with its ability. Sure can. Um, and then it just sacks and nothing happens because there's yep. no more target. But it does get to sack. So if you have some kind of combo going, you can sack itself to target itself. Yep. Uh, Nightbird's clutches. That was from uh, old Innistrad. Um, two okay. target, target creatures can't, can't block, block with flashback. Wow. For two mana That's initially. That's pretty sweet. And then there's that uh, turn to mist. Ooh, it's a nice worm token. Wow. That's pretty. So I'm guessing Penumbra Worm is in this set. I don't remember. Maybe we'll find out. Yeah. Isn't that Swift Reckoning? Yep. The card is real good and limited. Furnace, Furnace celebration. celebration. I enjoy this magic card. Right. So, three mana enchantment. Whenever you sacrifice another permanent, you may pay two. And if you do, Furnace Celebration deals two damage to any target. Not great, but I enjoy it. It's Wait. it's a bunch of goblins dancing in a rain of fire. Yeah. Um, there are some uh, sacrifice cards. So, Chainer's Edict yeah. is in here. Slum Reaper is in here. So, your opponents are trying to make you sacrifice. Yeah. This is a, a very good card. Uh, one mana, one one artifact creature, sacrifice heap, dull, exile target card from a graveyard. Yes. But it has that important uh, creature type, Scarecrow. Yes, it does. Yeah. And it's a one mana, one one for our Shizo dreams. Visions of Beyond. That's. Uh. Uh... <laughs> so one mana, draw a card, and if a graveyard has 20 or more cards in it, you draw three cards instead. Yeah, new recall. And instant, it's instant speed. speed. Yeah. Instant speed recall. And the art is sweet. I think that's a Tyrese Nielsen one. I believe so. Yeah. That kind of whimsical yeah. cloudiness. Uh, Wandering Champion. Uh, two mana, three, one, foil. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, if you control a blue or red permanent, you may discard, discard a card, and, and then... if you do, yeah, drop Okay. Card. That's not bad. Yes. That's not bad at all. Pretty sweet two drop. Yeah. We had some pretty cool bombs in this in these so far. Yeah. Worm token is a new one. Never had that one before. So if it is Penumbra Worm, Yak Yak, it's never been printed as an actual token before. So we're taking a look at here some of our rares. Tassiger, very nice. A bridge from below. Yeah. Uh, through the bridge, super sweet. Ogari Grave Ogari Troll. Ogari Grave Troll. And the Sublime, Archangel. Sublime Archangel. Thank you. And those are our mythic rares we've opened so far. Caracas. Yeah. And a Mana Vault. And, and we also did get a foil mythic. The foil Urborg, which is rare. Yeah. Oh, it's the only a regular rare. It's just a regular rare. Wow. That's real cool. Thanks for joining us, Yak Yak. Um, we're super excited about this new set. Um, yeah, I am quite excited. Yeah, I'll probably pick up some or do some drafting at some point, hopefully, and have some fun with it. Uh, let yeah. us know if you're excited to do some drafting of it or crack some packs and what you're I, hoping to get. I, I cracked one pack. I got a pattern of rebirth. 
Mm. Which is very cool. That's a nice one. Yeah. Is that new art on that one? It is. It's, it's pretty very sweet. new art. With the little crocodile guy going on it? Yeah. So this is the art. It's really reminiscent yeah. of the original art, which was also a... It's like a... Kind of like a turtle-crocodile hybrid type thing. So okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's weird. Um, but, you know, Therese Nielsen, she does amazing work. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the uh, support. Okay. In the pack here. Stitchy Drake thing. Stitch Drakes? Yeah. More Scuzzback Marauder. Scuzzback. Now, is, is the Scuzzback from Lorwyn Block or is it uh, from. Lorwyn. Is it okay? Yeah. Uh, Deranged Assistant. Twins of Maura Estate. This is one of our Black Madness threats. Yeah. So it's a 3-5, I believe? It is a 3-5 for Madness cost of 3. Wow. Otherwise, it's a 5-mana 3-5. Which is all, not bad either way. Oh, no. Yeah. Nice big bonus. Sanitarium Skeleton. Right. Uh, so three mana, you can return it uh, back to your hand, I believe. Because reassembling skeletons was too good? It was too good. <laughs> I mean, we can still shizo it. It's got one power. It's true. Nightbird's Clutches. Played that in my Rakdos deck. My very Another first one. Mirror Servitor. I think if I draft this set, I'm going to just draft every Mirror Servitor that comes my way. Yeah? And just yeah. go for it. Yeah. Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting. Pretty sweet one there. Uh, let's see lots of play in modern. And popper. And popper. There's a sweet spider token that's for spider spawning. Which I'm is not also a fan. in the set. Not a fan. Not a fan of spiders? I am actually terrified of spiders. Oh. Yeah. Hey, whoa. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, buried alive. Buried alive. alive. Three mana. You can tutor for three creatures and put them into your graveyard. It's about time I got a reprint. The card is Sweet really good. Art. Yeah. There's the perspective of being the person being buried alive. Yeah. Sleight of hand. They go with our foil copy. A little, a little disappointed they shifted it up to uncommon. Murderous red cap. That's a sweet one. I, I like the Lorwyn goblins, man. They're, they're weird looking. Little... Uh, so in this set we do have murderous red cap, and then we also have kitchen face is in the set. Wow. <laughs> so kitchen face. Well, is kitchen face needed a reprint. One for of sure. the box toppers. Wow. So you could get a kitchen finks for your box topper. I mean, there was no uh, dinosaur box topper though. That's true. It could have been yep. a uh, colossal dread mob box there topper. Sh there should have been a colossal dread mob. With new art. Yeah. With super new sweet. art. Just put the the carnage tyrant art on it. <laughs> uh, disrupting disrupting shoal. So blue blue X, and if you want, when you cast it, you can exile a blue card. Uh, with converted mana cost X, X from your hand rather than pay for the X cost. Yep. And it counters something with converted mana cost X. Oh, sorry. It's the entire cost. So it pays for the two blue and the X. Yes. Yeah. yeah you exile the card, you don't got to pay anything else, and you can counter something that has the same casting cost of the card. Um, so the other card in that cycle, the green version? Nourishing Shoal. Nourishing Shoal, thank you. You gain uh, life yes. equal to the X. Right. Yeah, World Spine Worm is a 15 mana uh, green spell. Yes. Oh, that's a foily Kodama's reach. That's a nice Kodama's reach. There's a yeah. commander card if I ever saw one. Yep. Sure is. The nice stack of commons you got there. The Fatal Sweden right on top. Yep. It's a good one. Yeah. The I think the best shoal is still going to have to be Blazing Shoal. Deals X damage. No. no. Target creature gets plus X plus zero. Oh. Yeah, it's red. It was banned because of turn turn two kills in mo modern. Like it's with infect. infect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think we're kind of at a point now where it probably could be unbanned, to be honest. You think so? I mean, Fatal Push exists. Mm, it's a little iffy, that one. There's another thing twice. That's our second one so far. Two minute draw card, three minute flashback draw card. Yeah. There's another Wingsteed Rider. I think that card still sees play in like young pyromancer decks. Which one? Think twice. Think twice? I think it does. Yeah. Yeah. I think it does. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Flight of Fancy, that's a really fun. sweet one. Uh, four Wicker Bow uh, Elder. Yeah, Wicker Bow. Um, so you can enter his battlefield with a minus one, minus one counter, and you can remove a counter on it to blow up a uh, artifact or enchantment. Yep, and then it's a four mana four four. Yes. Yeah. Tree Folk Shaman. Yep. Mark of the Vampire, that's a nice one. Yeah, I like that one. Pretty good limited. Yeah. Throw in a flyer. Yeah. <clears throat> Three mana plus two plus two in lifelink is it's ahead of the curve. Four mana. Is it four mana? It's four. Oh. 
Never mind. I retract my statement. It's still good. It's still good, but it's not ahead of the curve. Yeah. Pulse of Morassa. <laughs> now, that card is very, very strong. Okay, so a three mana instant. Return to our creature or land card from a graveyard to its owner's hand, and you gain six life. Yeah, it's instant speed, and it's common. Yeah. Yeah. That is an Ulamog's Crusher. That's it's a some common new bomb if I ever saw one. Yeah, so... It's very, very good. Eight mana, eight, eight. Annihilator, two. So your opponents must sacrifice two permanents whenever on attack. On attack. On attack, your opponent must sacrifice two permanents. And well, Ulamog's it, it Crusher attack every turn. must... I would hope so. Yeah. I mean, what else do you I mean, do you're probably it? not going to not attack with it, even yeah. if you didn't have the... Uh, if you had the ability to choose... Um, so that is the number one popper reanimation target. Ooh, Max Crusher? Yes. Yes. I can see that. Yeah, especially with dragons. There's red. a nice red uh, heroic target. This is a Crowan Crusader. Heroic. Oh, that one's make the one that makes one, some soldiers. One red soldier with haste. Wow. They didn't need to add the haste on there. It's still good enough without the haste. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I had, um, I played Jeskai Heroic back in cons. Okay. With her Crowan Crusaders and Swift Spears and some other stuff thrown in. Interesting. Phalanx Leader. Uh, two mana, one one, uh, heroic. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Yeah, and it's, it's a two mana, one one. That's the important part. Yes. Um, so Mono White Heroic was pretty good. I mean, Blue White Heroic was super good, though. <laughs> it's one of my favorite decks from that era. I played Jeskai Tokens back in that time. I did, too. But... It wasn't much sweeter than uh, Blue White Heroic. It reminded me of being a kid again, playing uh, Magic in middle school. This is Malevolent Whispers for 4 mana, mana's cost of 4, I believe. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it, it gains plus 2, plus 0 oh until end of... Uh, and, and haste until end of turn. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Fiend, Fiend Hunter. Hunter. Here's yeah. a nice one. Um, so this was a little bit different templating from some of the ones we've seen recently. Yeah, they, they've corrected the issues that this templating causes. Oh, I think that this just opens up the whole world. Oh, I, I agree with you. But the issue is, if you make this creature leave the battlefield before the enter the battlefield effect resolves, uh, then the enter battle the, the leave the battlefield effect has no, no effect, really. So you essentially get to exile a curved creature for good. Yeah. And then exile another one, and then it returns one that yeah. dies again. Um, Lord so a sweet, of Extinction. Yeah, sweet. Uh, Mythic Graveyard, Lord of Extinction, 5 mana, star, star. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in all graveyards. Yeah. Um, it's 5 mana, too. Yeah. It's a, it's a big one. He's a big boy. Yeah. A big, big, He's a big black green, green mouth. mouth. Yeah. yeah. I agree, Yak Yak. I don't think it needs to be corrected. Ooh, that's a nice foil. Sweet Vengeful Rebirth. That's a new Seb McKinnon art. Okay. He likes that kind of more gothic. Am I the only one? The three of us are not in agreement here. I agree it did need to be corrected. I don't think it needed to be corrected. I definitely did. Really? Yeah. Oblivion Ring caused you to lose the game. But it takes, like, work. You just need three Oblivion Rings. It creates an endless loop that you can't stop. Mm. Although I, I don't think the templating really fixed that issue. No. I think three banishing lights can still do it. I, I do like the old wording. I think it feels cleaner. It's definitely simpler. Yeah. So we're about halfway through our packs here. Maybe we'll open up our box topper for the very end of the thing. I think we might. I hope so. I'm hoping to see... Hmm. Maybe a Lily. Lily would be really nice. Actually, Platinum Imperium would be the one I want to see. Mm. Yeah. I like that new art. It's real sweet. Rune Snag. Or Bitter Blossom would be pretty nice, too. That also has some real neat art with the creepy little fairy. Yeah. <laughs> She's real creepy. That fairy is really creepy. Well, well they were all pretty creepy. <laughs> True. True. Yeah, the Lorwyn fairies were not not your typical fairies. We're just running through our commons here. Yeah. We'll, we'll pop up and say something if we see something cool. Spark Spitter. Spark Spitter. That's a nice that's, one. Uh, oh, I, that's the one that makes three ones, right? Yep. So you can discard a card, tap it, pay a red mana. You make a 3-1 with haste and an exile as uh, trample. And it exiles it makes a spark elemental. 
uh, end of step. Yep. Yeah. I think my favorite one of these, this cycle from the Time Spiral era, is the, the one that makes Lanowar Elves. It's like one green, tap it, discard a card, make a land of War Elf. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, so the card we passed was a Generator Servant. That one makes two colorless mana. Yes. And, and if, if it's you use been... it cast a creature, it yeah. gets haste. So that's a sweet, hasted uh, yeah. Ulamog's Crusher right there. Yeah. One of our one of our local players, Byron, um, I remember when I first came back to Magic, um, was in Khan's block, and he was playing a Siroc Dragon Collar deck. Ooh. Okay. And he smashed... She smashed my face into little pieces with generator servants and nice. uh, and Sirox and and stuff like that. So that's a pretty sweet kind of archetype that's not super popular, but it's kind of like red green ramp with yeah. Kodama's read generator servants, things like that. Yeah, it's a and nice spirit. The, the bombs you would green. need for that deck are all commons. Oh yeah, Hero, I thought that was a noble oh, hierarchy. Lena Tower was downshifted from rare uh, heroic. You can make pay X, and it puts X plus one plus one counters. Wow. So this is a one mana one one. I never seen that card before. Yeah, it was a rare and a Theros block. That's pretty cool. Now there is a Garna the Blood Flame from recent Dominaria. That's Dominaria, right? Yep. You know, the card is pretty cool and limited. It goes very well with fume spitters and yeah. all those guys. Yeah. A uh, Firewing Phoenix. <laughs> Flying 4-2. 7 mana, it looks like, maybe. Four uh, it's colors. 4. It's 1 and 3 red. Oh, is it 1? Yep. Yeah. So that'll return it uh, from your graver to your hand. That's not too bad, though. Nope. Not too bad for a recursive uh, red flying yeah. threat. Not too bad unlimited. I mean, the 3 red is a little heavy, but... You make do. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, Revelark. Ooh, That's a wow. nice one. Yeah, this set has some sweet reprints. Um, so this is when it leaves the battlefield, you can target, uh, return two target creatures. Uh, power one or less. Power two or less from your graveyard two? to the battlefield. Yep. Wow. Um, so there is an infinite combo with Revelark in the set. And Karmic Guide. But Karmic Guide, I don't think Karmic Guide. No, not so. Karmic Guide. Um, it's. You can either do infinite life or infinite damage with Fumus Bitter. Okay. Oh, not Fumus Bitter, sorry. Um, oh, I can't remember. I had it. Okay. I'll find it again. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's pretty you sweet, think though. It, it takes, like, four cards. Okay. But you can kind of get there. Or what do you got, foily-wise? Foil lily. Ooh. Foil lily. Nope. A unicorn. It's a unicorn. It's a shiny unicorn. I don't want to build a unicorn tribal deck. Yeah, I bet you could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we haven't seen any Planeswalkers yet. Uh, the only ones in this set Karn are... Karn and Lily. Karn and Lily. Oh, the only two? Okay. Yeah. thought there was a couple more. Unfortunately not. Yeah. I can live with it. Now, I have expressed my disappointment uh, to Gerard and a couple other people that Liliana didn't get new art. Oh. Yeah. Kind of a bummer. You know, this is like their her judge promo didn't get new art, which sucked. Um, yeah, you know, they could have, they could have done new art for her in one of her seven printings. Groundskeeper. That's a nice one for Dredge. You can yeah. return a basic land from your graveyard back to your hand. Yeah, it's a good one. One mana, one, one. Is Sylvan Safekeeper in this set? No. That would have been a cool one to have in here with that card. Lumog's Crusher. Heliot's Pilgrim. This is search your library for an aura and put it into your hand. Three it's mana, one, two. Yeah, it's pretty good. Go we'll fetch some auras, not white, green, kind of heroic. Play now, some hero they, of Erois. Did they put the uh, the chosen of in this the ordeals in this set? Like ordeal of Heliod, ordeal of Thassa. Uh, no, they did not. Those ones were real sweet. Ordeal of Heliod, especially. They got the Umbras. Yeah, I mean, I think the Umbras cycle is a little bit stronger. Uh, Rakdos Shred Freak. That's from uh, Return to Ravnica. Two mana, two one, haste. For red black red black hybrid, you know, the shred freak is a cool one. It's a really some uh, some strange art on that one though. It's like Edward Scissor hands, but it's like Edward Scissor body. Yeah, yeah. There's a nice element. I was kind of hoping for a hellhole flare reprint though. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Yeah. I like that one. Uh, Unleash uh, turns into a four three. Yes. 
Uh, Blast of Genius, also from Returns of Ravnica. Is that some new art? No, it's the same art. Oh, okay. Um, six mana, you can choose a target, draw three, and then discard a card, and it deals damage equal to the discarded CMC. Yeah, so, you know, I always thought Rawls Eric was like an old man. Yeah, you got that impression. Yeah. But he's just peppered. Yeah, and like, it seems like he can just manipulate his age. But I guess he's like a temporal master. Thank you for the scissor. Yeah, I like scissor body. That was a good one. <laughs> Uh, there's Penumbra Worm downshifted That's the one. to Uncommon. Yeah. Not a fan of the art. But then again, the original art wasn't very good either, so... <laughs> it ties in with the Black Worm token. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? No, they, they match really well. <laughs> counter Squall. There's a sweet one. Yeah. Uh, Blue-black counter target non-creature spell. It's going to try to lose us to life. Strictly better negate. Yes. Yeah. Here it is. Moment of truth. Yeah. <gasps> Squee! Squee! Goblin of Bob. Oh, that's a sweet one. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad they went with this art. Yeah, Jake I mean, the Sanchez. original is real cool, but... He loves goblins. Uh, three but... mana, one, one, legendary creature goblin. At the beginning of your upkeep, uh, if you may return Squee from your graveyard back to your hand. Yes. Yes, you may. So we can do some recursive discarding and madness yeah. effects and yep. some sweet ones. Uh, Ick Spitter. Uh, you can make three ones. Spark Spitter. Spark Spitter. Spark yeah. Spitter. Thank Just you. get him back every turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, playing on his, uh, lore-wise, his immortality. Yeah. And now he's back from yeah. Dominar. There's a nice foil wild hunger. I kind of think that Volrath made a mistake when he uh, accidentally made Squee immortal. I think... No. No? I like I like Squee enough that I don't, I'm pretty happy. I mean, he's he's still alive on Dominaria. Yeah. 300 plus years later. <laughs> just kill he's, me. He's been killed multiple <laughs> times. Like, just... Somebody end me. Yeah. Well, this one, the new one, you can't even end him with uh, an exile spell. Yeah, he just comes back. Yeah. I'm going to find this combo. Um, <laughs> so you have to use, one of the creatures you got to use is uh, Bloodflow Connoisseur. Okay. Which sacks a creature and it puts a counter on itself. Okay. It's like a creature. So you sack another creature, you sack the Connoisseur, um... And then you have, and you play Revel Arc. Yeah. And you bring him back. And then, um, I think it's with Bridge. Yeah, with Bridge. Okay. Because when you sack them, it makes a zombie token. Yep. So you can sack the tokens to, um, and then Revel Arc. And okay. you have enough mana to, to bring him back again in cycles. Well, how do you get Revel Arc back from the graveyard? <sighs> with another card. It's oh, in okay. here. I got it. I just yeah, gotta it's a like it. Yeah, it's uh, a When nice it dies, one. you uh, make triple colors. Yes. Yeah, it's cost three mana for a three three. Not bad, not bad. Stitcher's Apprentice, Seder Wayfinder. This is the first time we've seen this in when what Jake's opened so far. But it's a sweet one. Oh, it's a very good card. It's a great enabler for the yeah uh, for, for a dredge. lot of different mechanics yep, for dredge and for yep. some of the other ones. Um, you can you you mill the top four cards of your library and then you can put a land card from among them into your hand. The yep. rest go into your graveyard. Yeah. Last Gas, that's a sweet black removal spell. It's minus uh, five, minus five? Minus three, minus three. For two. For two. Okay. Instant speed. Okay, I mean, I like it. We could have seen a Bioblight reprint here. Bioblight would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, I guess from a limited standpoint, though, if Bioblight's in there at common, that's really strong. Yes. Yeah. Spider Umbra. There's that Blood Flow Connoisseur we were talking about with our infinite combo. Is that a three, that's a three mana one? It's a three mana one. Oh, one. it makes counters, though. Yes. Okay, okay. So Mammoth Umbra. It's like a more permanent version of, of um Yeah, it gives you half the, yeah, and some it gives of you half things. the power increase, but it sticks around. Yeah. Not bad. Repel the Darkness, that's a sweet one. Tap two target creatures and draw a card. Uh very cool, you can attack with two heroic creatures and then tap them before damage and you get the heroic triggers. Yeah. And you draw a card. Yeah. Neat neat little thing. Raid bombardment, that one's pretty sweet. Uh whenever a creature you control with power two or less attacks. Uh, raid bombardment deals an additional one damage um, to the target. To the target. To the attacking. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's not bad. I like it. Is there, Is there that guild mage? That <laughs> one guild mage. Demir getting the love, man. Mm. And the Gulgari. There's another Penumbra Worm. It's not a bad one to shift down. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like Palaka Worm. That was a bad one to shift up. Yes. Um, <laughs> so this is Iridescent Drake. Uh, enters the battlefield. Uh, you can grab an aura from your graveyard and put it into play attached to Drake. It is a 4-mana 2-2 with flying. Nice. Um, go grab Eldrazi in the description. Yeah. 
you know, casual 12, 12, Annihilator 2 yep. or whatever it is flying. Yeah, Unstable Annihilator 2 and Trample. Yep. Unstable Mutation, that one's super sweet. That's an old school card. Yes, it is. Jake's real happy. I kind of like the it. art. Yeah. Um, so The guy looks a little unstable. Not just mutation-wise, but mentally. Yes. A little mentally unstable. Yeah. Um, so target creature, uh, a Chinese creature gets plus three, plus three, and the beginning of your upkeep. Put a one, minus one, minus one counter on it. Yes. Yeah. So it eventually will die. Yep. Most likely. But, but uh, it spontaneously sprouted some tentacles, yeah. so... I guess I'd be mentally unstable, too, if, if one of my arms just spontaneously turned into a tentacle. There's a Fulminator Whoa. Mage. Yeah, I forgot this was in this set. Yeah. Fulminator so. Mage is a sweet one. It is. Three mana, two, two, and you can sack it to destroy target non-basic land. Yeah. See a lot of playing modern. It, it does. She's less than it used to. Yes. It used to be seen a lot. Um, but now... Now with Ghost Quarter, Field of Ruin. Right. Yeah, they're they're making a little bit more of a rise. Full Minute Mage itself has fallen down a little bit. I see some playing like Mario yeah. Pyramid. So I mean, it's still definitely playable. Two. Yeah, and our foil is Full Minute Mage. Da da da. Apodite for brains. Some sweet art. Look at that eyeball. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that foil. Yeah. Um. So target opponent reveals a hand, and you choose a card, uh, from their hand that costs four or less, and they discard it. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Not the best card, but it's got some cool art, and it looks real nice in foil. And there was a couple cards that I was really hoping to see reprints for that that I was really bummed that they didn't. Um, Cackling Fiend would have been a cool one. Okay, yeah. Uh, four mana, two, one mana, just battlefield. Each opponent discards a card. Right. Um, body Snatcher. Uh, when it's battlefield, you have to exile a creature from your hand. Uh, when it dies, you get something back from your graveyard. Right. Yeah. Or uh, Scourge Familiar. Discard a card, make a black mana. But uh, that, one's, that one's a little powerful. Worship would have been a cool reprint. Worship would have been nice. Yeah. It's been a while since we got a worship effect. And we got another uh, deranged assistant. Oh, Hissing Iguanar. Yep. That's a nice red aggressive creature. Three mana, three, one. Whenever another creature dies, uh, Hissing Iguanar deals one damage target player or planeswalker. Yeah, it's not a bad one. There's another Olivia's Dragoon. Awful Snout. That card is just kind of terrifying. The awful Snout? Yeah. Have you seen the original art, too? I haven't. It's like a slug with centipede legs and a pig face. Oof. Yeah. Well, that makes more sense now. Awful yeah. snout. Yeah. yeah. Dark Dabbling. Repel the Darkness. Undying Rage. That's a sweet one. Um, three mana enchantment for plus two, plus two, and can't block. And when it uh, is put into a graveyard, it goes back to your hand. So kind of like I don't mind bugs. Yak, yak. Uh, flying bugs, not a fan of. And I'm terrified of spiders. But bugs themselves don't really bother me. It's just when they start flying. There's that 5 mana 2-2 two, two double striker. <laughs> Good old Innistrad zombie tokens. Ghoul Steed. Yeah, uh, 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, 3 mana, discard 2 cards, return Ghoul Steed from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, tapped. Yeah. Which that you can do at instant speed. Yeah. Rally the Peasants. That's a really nice one for going wide. Uh, white, red, heroic with a crow and crusaders and things like that. That's one that gives all your guys plus two, plus zero. White trumpet blast. And a flashback. And it has flashback. So for, for three or for four? For, for three. Flashback. Oh, wow. So for six, it's plus four, plus zero. Wow. That's really good. That's not a bad limited card at all. Definitely a build around. Yeah. You could just straight win. A fecundity. That's uh, a cool reprint. I like the new art. Three minute enchantment. Whenever a creature dies, that creature's controller may draw a card. Season of Play and Commander. That is definitely a Commander card. Yep. Uh, seems like it'd be pretty good and limited too, though, if you got like a sacrifice type strategy. That'd be bad. And there is Nourishing Shell. Yeah. Uh, so this is the green version. You may exile your card with Converter Muck on an X, or Converter CMC equal to X. And you and gain X life? You gain X life. Yeah, yeah. I think the same thing, um, but I think it looks weird because you and I are both very, very used to that very terrible plain skeleton that appeared on the original versions. Uh, foil Penumbra Worm. Oh. Uh, Eternal Witness is the other card. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that's what this I is. figured it out. Yeah. Which also has two power or less. Yeah. So you just... Make a loop? Yep. Although Eternal Witness does not put the Revelark back in play. No, it goes back to hand. But you make enough mana. Revelark is five mana, bro. I know. That's what I'm thinking. How this works. I saw it. I know it works. 
I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I just, like, skipped it. <laughs> so we're getting down to the bare minimums yeah. here with the packs. I think we got, what, six left? Seven left? Something like that? Uh, six or seven, around there. Whirlwind Adept. I, You know, Fire and Ice. That's a sweet downshift. Yeah, you know, I'm really bummed with what they did with the split cards and their CMCs and stuff. Okay. Because this this used to be the premier Isochron Scepter target. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And now it has CMC 4. Right. Think twice. That's a good one. Patchwork, Patchwork Gnomes. Golem. Oh, is it Gnomes? Gnomes. Oh, I thought it was Patchwork Golem. For oh, you discard a card and he regenerates. Another mark on the vampire there. Interestingly enough, they did not put the reminder text for regenerate on it. They did not. Yeah. This is regenerate. So they got a. But well, they put the reminder text for prowess. Uh, Lotus Eye Mystics, 4 mana, 3 2. When it enters the battlefield, you may return target and enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Not bad. Not With bad. prowess. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I find it odd. They put, the, they put the reminder text for prowess, but not for regenerate, which. I played Magic for 21 years, and I really can't explain to you exactly how regenerate works. <laughs> it stops you from dying, removes some damage, and taps you. That's that's about it. Next time it would take lethal damage, it taps and doesn't die. There's that Spark Elemental Ooh, token. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. It's That's actually, I think, the original art for Spark Is Elemental. It? Yeah. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. It's a nice token there. Brazen Scourge, 3 mana, 3-3 three, three haste. <laughs> Not awful and limited, but yeah, I, never going to see play anywhere else. Kind of bummed it's an uncommon. I guess it'd be really strong as a common, though. Rise from the Tides. Here is a yeah. work, uh, build around here. So we 6 mana, we make a tap 2-2 two, two black zombie for every instant and sorcery in our graveyard. So if we're going for that sweet Lab Maniac deck, and we just... Yep. Our other win con is probably Rise from the Tides. Yeah. Yuck, yuck. But I think that's the exact reason why Regenerate needed an explanation and Prowess didn't. Ancestors chosen, seven mana, four, four. First strike when enters battlefield, you gain one life for each creature, for each card in your graveyard. That's pretty good. Straight cards. But also that being said, if they put the reminder text to regenerate, you know the, the card text gets real long. Can't put nice flavor text on there. <gasps> Lava claw reaches. Hey, the, the worst is... man line ever printed. But I think it's better than Stirring Wildwood. Hey, Stirring Wildwood is a three mana, three four. Yeah, but. Okay, yeah, this definitely. gets plus X plus zero at the end of turn. That's pretty good. I mean... For X? Just pump it? Okay. It's got more reach. It's definitely better more. than Stirring Wild. Yeah, I'll you. give you that. Thank you. Foil Miming Slime. There you go. That's pretty nice. Goes with our Ooze token. Yeah. Actually, that's not even the right Ooze token, though. That makes XX Oozes. The Ooze token was a Star Star. Uh, the other ones also make Star Stars. They never made an XX. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. All the oozes are star star. Weird. Even the ooze garden oozes were star stars, if I'm remembering correctly. From Alara. I don't play Alara. Ah. Well, we got we got token guy in the in the chat. That's Maybe true. he can confirm. The, all the I have like two or three different ooze yep, tokens and all star stars. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Oh. We're, we're down to we're down to the bare nitty gritty here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I count eight. That's Save that card pack for last. And the and box, the box stopper. stopper. All we right. We might be approaching games here. I think we're getting pretty close. They might actually already be playing games. Okay. Skip the first game. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured that's a really long draft time, but. I'm enjoying looking at this new set. Yeah, yeah it's a, a lot box. of fun. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. No big Eldrazi yet. Are all three of the original Titans in here? Yep. Could use a Planeswalker. Could use some big Eldrazi. Now, the way that Jake does this, it's really like frustrating to me because when I open packs, I look at the rare and the three uncommons and then... That's it. Well, that's how those packs are set up, too. Yeah. It's like yeah. they know I would, I would just open look, these, right? I'll throw a token away. Oh, there's a foil card. But there's a frantic search. At a common. That's wow. Sweet. I, did not re I did not realize this card was in the set. Yeah. Um, now, frantic search is so good. It's banned and popper. It's banned and popper. It's banned and Urza's block constructed. <laughs> it's banned in legacy. <laughs> right. Uh, it's restricted in vintage. Um, 
Three mana, draw two, discard two, untap three lands. Instant speed. It's just like, just, oh yeah, sure, draw two cards, discard two. It's like, there's no... Well, the decks that would play it, would abuse it, yes. have like high tide, right. stuff like that. So your three lands make six mana, Probably, not three. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah, it's real sweet. That's a cool reprint. It would be cool to see the original art again, but I'm a purist. Arcumans, that's a sweet one. That's a four mana on one two. When it enters the battlefield, you may return to instant sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. Yep. Very good. Very, very good. Unholy Hunger. This is also one of the uh, black removal spells. Um, instant speed, destroy target creature, spell oh, mastery. Game two. Okay. Game two life. Interesting. Um, so pretty high cost, but yeah. as far well, as the I mean, goes, common yeah. removal has typically been pretty expensive. Yeah. Uh, Doom Blade was a was a little bit of an exception. Crow of Dark Tidings, uh, three mana, two one flyer. You mill three. Yeah, two. Two. You mill two. When it enters the battlefield two. or dies. Is there miming slime? Yeah. Isn't a sweet resurrection there? I like that new art. A faithless looting. Yeah. Faithless looting is a good one. There's that one that we were talking about. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, that's nice. That is real nice. Oh, Blade of Blossom token. All right. This now, means that this is Bitter Blossom, right? The, yeah, the yeah. Has there been a Bitter Blossom token before this? There have been Oh, Fairy the Modern Rogues. Masters. The Modern Masters token. Um, I know there's Fairy Rogues, but this one is like specifically. Yeah. With the, with the actual flowers. All right. Shiri, there we there go. There you go. So okay. this is the card. Uh, end of turn, you can return all your creatures to power one or less that died this turn. Yeah. Bring them back into play. If he's still on the battlefield. If he is still on the battlefield, yes. yes. It's a pretty decent downshift. Dakmore Salvage. This is also one of the only dredge cards in this set. Um, a little tougher to make work. Well, so this card right here, if you have an ability to discard a card and you have a Gitrog monster, yes, uh, you get to put your whole library into your graveyard if you want to. Yes. Warman Block was weird. Vidal Blossom makes mono black fairies, but Una makes blue black. So most, yeah. Mm. Uh, and this is Slippery Boggles here. Yeah, good old Some Slippery Boggles. Nice art there. Now, I always thought of the Boggle as kind of a frog type creature. Yeah? It looks a little froggy. He's got like little ears though. He's I like. I mean, some frogs have ears. Yes. Actually, all frogs have ears. They all have ears. But, yeah. But he's got like little. He's a little more like mammalian reptilian. Yeah. But it's still froggy. Yeah. Yeah. He's from original Ravnica. There's, There's another Urborg. Urborg. Yeah. So not a bitter blossom, but the new Urborg art is real sweet too. It is. I'm a fan. And well, Rakdo Shred Freak. Freak. Uh, Edward Scissors Buddy. Edward Scissor Buddy. Man, Frantic Search. That's a that's a real nice one. That's nice. I think intentionally they made blue a little bit worse. Like otherwise. Well, I mean, they have a lot of powerful reprints for blue, Sleight of Hand and Frantic Search in the I, same set. My my point being that they don't like they don't have a whole lot of ways to close out a game besides like Row One Adept mm. or Lab Maniac. There's no really like yeah. blue way to win. Gotcha. So you have to play with another color. Okay. Whereas like some of the other colors Which you could generally... probably just do mono yeah. that color and you'd be okay. Which is generally where blue shine. Right. Since the beginning, Mono Blue has not been the greatest. Hissing Iguanar. Yep. Sultai Skull Keeper. Does that have exploit? Uh, no. No. Uh, two mana, two one, enters the battlefield, you mill top two cards. Wow. So they went all into the mill strategy. Yeah. I like it. There's that Walker the Grove. Yep. Ghoul Caller is accomplished. Exile itself. Make a 2 2. From a graveyard. Yeah. Wild wow, mongrel. He's so cute. <laughs> He's wild. Yeah. And foil. Nice foil. It's a common. That's so so ridiculous. That's great. Yeah. I can't wait to throw some into my popper deck. Probably sideboard. I have islands in my deck. I could put them in there. Yeah. I mean, I only have three islands, but that's enough. <laughs> Generator servant. Safe, Safe hold, hold elite. elite. Oh, uh, more win, guys. It's a two mana one or two, two mana two two with wither, right? With persist. Persist. <laughs> so it'll come back as a one one. Yeah. <coughs> no, Lotus, Lotus I. Mystics. Yeah. 
nice. spider. Spider token. Yeah. I don't like. I even pictures of spiders bug me. Yeah. Boar Umbra. That's a nice one. <laughs> three mana cool plus one. three plus three, and totem armor. So interestingly, Meringue River Prowler. All the totem armors are the same person inside the the totem. Oh, armor. is it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. So this is a three mana two one can't be blocked and can't block. Uh, yeah. When it deal when it uh oh sorry you may cast it from your graveyard as if long you as you have a black or green permanent black or green okay at the cons is that a soul tie kind of thing okay. going on cool just like the um the white mana three one yeah it's blue or red cares about blue or red travel preparation this is a sweet card for the green one heroic uh two mana put two put a one one counter on up to two, uh, two target creatures okay and flashback for two. Wow. I'm oh, sorry. Five. Oh, it, looks like, it looks like four or five. I think it's five. Okay. But still really good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a good card. It's a card I've never seen before. I'm guessing it's, it's from Innistrad block. Probably? I think it's when I stopped playing. Mm. I think, uh, yeah, Dark Ascension Ooh, was when I quit playing. There's a Gamble. Wow. More new art for Gamble. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'd be more excited, but I, already, I picked up a gamble. I got one from one of the past Master sets. Yeah. That's the one I'm playing in my yeah. Pickleball, so. I, I'm a purist, so I prefer the original. Well, yeah. When you have nothing, we you might as well be. trade it for something. Yeah. yeah. Gamble's still pretty sweet. Nice one. And we'll see what our foil is here. Gamble. No. <gasps> Crow of Dark Crow Tidings. Crow of Dark Tidings. So crowy. Yes, it's. it's... Yes, crowy. <laughs> <coughs> now I kind of want to build a deck called the Crow to only play crows. Crows and guns. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry, Bruce Lee's son, wherever you are. I apologize for my tasteless mm. joke. Right. We're getting down to the, the wire here. Yeah. So, what would be the coolest card for you to open in this set? Probably one of Veldrazi. Just because I don't own one. Hmm. Okay. It's always like. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. Right. It's got that uh, that appeal. Yeah. yeah. The Eldrazi are sweet. Well, I mean, they're not sweet. They're they're mean, mean, terrifying, yeah. mind altering aliens. Yeah. But uh, they're pretty sweet. They have that allure. Yeah. Because they're always like, oh, the Eldrazi kind of thing, right? Oh. <laughs> I, I cried a little bit there, Andy. That's pretty sad. Yeah. All right. There's another Brazen Scourge. Such a terrible <laughs> Kaladesh <part>. All-Star. <laughs> I, yeah. There's an Apprentice Necromancer. And this is one of the black ways to reanimate at instant speed. Yeah. So black and sack itself, and you can return Get a creature back. creature card from your graveyard and put it into play. That is definitely a downshift. Um, at the beginning of the end step, you end step, sack it. You will sack it. Which is different from a lot of the new temporary reanimation effects. Like an Eldrazi or an uh, Emrakul. You could just. Apprentice Res it yep, in response, response to, to the, the shuffle trigger. and get that back. Okay, so that's the uh, Dream Escape Artist. You can discard a, a card land. and you can sack a land to go get two uh, basics. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty good. Repeatable. Deck yeah. thing. Pretty nice. And it puts them on the battlefield untapped. That's not bad. So it's Harrow on a stick. Yes. And blue. Yeah. Well, interesting there. Because blue needs ramp. Because blue needs ramp. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Hey! hey Noble Hire. That's a nice one. The number one. one most anticipated reprint. <sighs> this and Engineered Explosives. Ooh, Both yeah. Of which got I need some EEs. All right. Noble Hire. Uh, one green mana, 01, Exalted, and you can tap it to make white, green, or blue. Mana. Yeah. It makes bit. I remember I picked up a playset of. Noble Hierarchs for less than $2 a piece back in the Ooh. day. Oh. Yeah. And when they hit $35, I was like, I'm selling these. I don't need these anymore. Oh, Not at $35. No. I regret it. Oh, Should have held it. I think they doubled. 
What are they? Oh, they were they were up to ninety plus yeah. for a while. That's crazy. All They're right. back down to under fifty, I believe. It's a oh. full scuzz back, Marauder. Hey man, you need you need the that scuzz back. The old scuzzy. Yep. Yak Yak says Dreams Marauder loves training grounds. Sure does. One blue, sack that island, get yourself some untapped islands. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, some physical difficulties there. <laughs> yeah, well, it's better than the the unfortunately common technical difficulties. Yeah, we have some we have some internet issues here in uh, Nimitz Hawaii. Center. Well, specifically Nimitz <laughs> Center, it seems. Mm. <laughs> So we see what Jake's got here. <laughs> we are right behind the Best Buy in Nimitz Center. We are right behind the Best Buy. Honolulu, Hawaii. Come on down. Play some magic. Friday, Saturday nights. And sometimes Sundays. And sometimes And other Sundays. weekdays. And, you know. Stitcher's Apprentice. This is the guy that makes homunculi. Ah, okay. So a two mana, make a homunculus, a two-two blue homunculus, and then set a creature. creature. Interesting. The law of equivalent exchange. Hyena Umbra. Create a creature, second creature. Yes. Yeah. Was last kiss. Last gasp. Or oh, the last gasp. Yes. Okay. I believe it's a the artist from Battle Bond. Oh, okay. There's a nice undying rage. I like that art. Yes. Uh, dual decks, I hmm. think. Okay. At least that's where mine's from. Soul's Fire. I'm not sure where the actual art's original is from. Double, Double cleave. cleave. I like he's got like a regular sword, but he's also got like a fire sword. Yeah. Like, I'm going to hit you good, and I'm going to hit you again. Yeah. <laughs> you get one, one regular smack, and then a flaming smack. <laughs> uh, Prismatic Lens. Uh, the Drakes are in here for uh, tokens, because Tarland. Tallrand, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tallrand. Yeah. Excuse me. Sky Summoner. Unburial Rites. Uh, that's probably the best reanimation. Um, yeah, it's one of them. Five I, mana. I think Animate Dead is probably the best, though. Um, Yak Yak said that Last Gasp is the original art. Oh. Or oh. is it the Undying Rage you were talking about? Uh, probably Undying Rage. Ventral Rebirth. And... Raging, Raging Ravine. Ravine. It's not a bad one. Yeah, Undying Rage. Okay. It's not a bad one. Four mana, three, three, that gets bigger every time. I'm pretty sure I have a last gas, but it's a different art. Foily ingot chewer. Ooh, that's not bad. Let's see some play. Popper staple. Yeah, I could use some of those. Actually, you know, I don't know how much of a popper staple it's going to be anymore. Yeah. Smelt exists. Yes. Yeah. I'm running. Well, the other popper staple for a red um, artifact removal is the um, the ogre guy. Ogre guy. That is red XX and destroys an artifact with this mana or CMC. Oh, Gorilla Shaman. Yeah, Gorilla Shaman. Yeah. I yeah, just run good my popper deck just runs a Newell's is my artifact removal. That's a flight of fancy. Four mana uh draw two cards and yep. the target creature gains flying. It's nice with our whirlwind uh yeah. prowess guy. So what I've noticed Addict. so far is there are definitely some quote unquote mythic commons. Oh yeah. We've only seen one frantic search. Uh we've seen maybe two hissing iguanars. Well I think we I think we've only seen three rune snags so far. Yep. Yeah. That's an angelic renewal. Uh two man enchantment, uh whenever a creature you control dies, um or goes whenever, to from the yeah, battlefield. You can sacrifice that to bring it back. Yes. <laughs> Raid Bombardment. Yeah. Yep. Shielding Plaques. Alright. Cadian Acadia. That's the one that makes the citizen. It does. Make citizens. Discard a card to make one citizen? Two citizens. Uh, okay. Okay. There's a Mystic Revival. Oh, Retrieval. My bad. That gets a... Instant or Sorcery. Okay. And it has Flashback. Yes. For white men, I believe. Uh, red. Oh, okay. Is, is it colored? Yeah. All right. Not bad. Not bad. That is a Spirit Cairn. Uh, whenever a player discards a card, you may pay white. And if you do, you make a 1-1 one, one white spirit token with flying. Iction Cryer. Ication. Ication Cryer. Thank you. Yep. 
That's a Dawn, Dawn Charm. Charm. That's one of the very few white counter spells. Dawn Charm is a very powerful magic card. It's nice. It's it's innocuous and not great at his first glance, but it's real good. Real good. Fog counter regenerate. Yeah. Yeah. It's All for sweet. two mana. Ooh, there's a Venge Vine. Benji. Also see some play that bridge deck. Yeah, yeah, bridge vine is a thing. It's good. Four mana, four three, trample, comes yeah. back, play a bunch of creatures. And a foil resurrection. Now foil resurrections are sweet. Very, very sweet. Ooh, that's a nice foil. Yeah. I like that art. Yeah. It's real good. We're down. I think this is the second to last. Uh we have two more. And that box topper. What's it gonna be? I'm hoping Mana Vault. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah. I'd like to see a Planeswalker. Planeswalker would be pretty sweet too. Yeah. Yeah, Planeswalker would be pretty cool. A nice Karn would be pretty nice. I think Karn looks real nice without that with that extended art on the top of it. Yeah. I'm a little sad that they just kind of extended the art. It's not actually like yeah. extended, they just kind of made the picture bigger. Some of them it's more noticeable than others. Stretch the picture a little bit. Yeah. I think the ones that had additional art that they could reveal, they did. Yeah. And the ones that didn't, they stretched. When you have them all like next to each other, yeah, it's really obvious. Yeah. Yeah. There's another frantic search. That's only number two in the whole that's box. Number two. Yeah. That's that's a good one. I wonder how much the foils are going for. Wicker Bow Elder. Vampire, Mark of the Vampire. Gogari Brown Scale. Pull some Marasa. Read Bombardment. Beckoned Apparition. Is one the, is one that the mana. First one we've seen of that? Nope, that's the second or third. Oh, okay. One mana exile target card from a graveyard, and you make a 1 1 white and black spirit with flying. Oh, okay. White black spirit a lot rarer than other spirits. Yes. God's Willing. This is a multi rebirth elemental token. Or Young Pyromancer Elemental Token, if you want to go that route. Brawn! It was our very first Brawn. Yeah. It's an elephant. Uh, Sigil of the New Dawn. Whenever a creature is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you, you may pay... two to put it back in your hand. Two. Yes. That's been shifted down. It's a rare and onslaught block. Mistville Plains. Uh, you put target creature card from a graveyard on the bottom uh, of your library. It's actually any card. Oh, sorry. Target card. Yeah. And you can only activate if you control two or more white permanents. Yes. Yeah. And it does enter tapped. It is a Plains, though. Yes. So it is tutorable. It's a Rhea. Rhea Dawnbringer. That's pretty cool. Finger upkeep, you get to reanimate something. I mean, she has like nine mana, though. She is nine mana. Nine mana, four, six flyer. Beginning of your upkeep, you may return her creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah. So, she's a pretty prime reanimate target, because she starts to bring in all her dead friends back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, kind of similar to uh, Artisan of Kozilek. Also yeah. bringing back something back. A foily how the mirror guild mage there. Yep. Oh, you know what would be a sweet box stopper? Mm -hmm. Demonic Tutor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jake's got the thumbs up on that. <laughs> oh, he's hoping for it. He's a big old fan of the Demonic Tutor. As I learned last time, it's actually his favorite magic card. Mm. I totally thought it was Demonic Attorney. Number two. Yeah. And I think Gutter Snipe is top five. Gutter Snipe is definitely his favorite red card. The fire and ice there. Yeah. Their Flight of Fancy. Fancy. Mode of the Unhallowed. Miming Slime. Holy Hunger. Bloodflow Connoisseur. A Chrono Crusader. Was a Chrono Crusader a common before? It was a common, yes. Okay. Molten Birth. Ooh, Whoa. Merit Lage token. I think Very it's only nice. the second Merit Lage. No, there's, that's the third one. I haven't been keeping track. There you go to see the OG. Every title one looks very different. Yeah, that's a super sweet token. That is the number, the third one, right? Oh, young peasy. Oh, it is in this set. set. Oh, okay, cool. That goes with the other because there's the regular like fiery elemental. Is there? Token. There's two elemental there's tokens. Two red one one elemental tokens. Wow. Seems like a waste of ink. 
I could have just stuck with the one. <laughs> There's a living lore. I was a downshift from rare to uncommon. A good downshift. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may exile an instant or sorcery from your graveyard, and it is uh, power type is equal to, to its the casting CMC. cost. When it deals combat damage, you can sack that to cast it. Uh, really nice with treasure cruise or dig through time. Yeah, yeah, dig through time is an eight mana spell. Some sweet eight eight there. Yeah, four mana eight eight. Pretty yeah, happy to play. Dig through time is in this set. It is. Kitchen Finks. That's still nice an uncommon. One. I'm glad they didn't shift that up. Nope. But it's a box topper. Yeah. It's an oomph. I was wondering where the original one came from, Yak Yak. I, I couldn't remember. I thought it was a judge promo. And a Celestial Colonnade. That's a that nice pull, too. That is the best man land. It is. Uh, seeing a lot of play in blue white control right now in Modern. Yep. Uh, being away from the close of the game. Yes. Five mana becomes a 4-4 four, four white and blue elemental creature with flying and vigilance. And vigilance. That's the big part. Um, see some. I saw a really sweet play tacked with the colonnade, yep. and opponent tried to do something and uh, tapped the colonnade for white and like lightning healing like something out of off yeah. the board. Yeah. Foily. Stitcher's apprentice. Yeah. I mean the the Stitcher. Stitcher girl. Stitcher savant. Is the uh, it doesn't have to sack a creature, he just makes homunculi. Oh, oh right. snap! <laughs> this method, Stitcher Savant makes uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be nice. It's a good name, wouldn't, too. Wouldn't Stitcher the Stitcher Savant be Stitcher Girl? Probably, he's like the, the pinnacle of what is he? Is that that's he just like Mills 3, right? From everyone and makes a uh, I, think, I, I don't know what he does. I'm pretty sure it's what he yeah. does. I don't know what he does. I thought he like you remove stuff and then amalgamate them together. Yeah, so it mills three from top three of everyone, and then all the creatures um, get stitched together, their stats, into okay. a, a big zombie thing. This is it. Uh, last pack and then box topper. Yeah. Now I wonder if we uh, bless this pack and got some extra luck on it. I hope so. Yeah. Then I got those there you go. secret sauce. Jake sprinkling it on. <laughs> all right. Wayfinder. Yeah, that's only the second one we've seen. That is the that's so one. weird. And the weird second one. Skullkeeper, too. Yeah. Our third Skullkeeper, sorry. Second Cathodian. That Groundskeeper. This is our last gasp. Spider Umbra. Shred Freak. Mammoth Umbra. Soul Spire. Safehold Elite. Elite. Yep. That's only the second one, I think, right? And the Ooze Token. Oh, the suspense. That was a Chainer's Edict. That's, That's the, the first, first one. Yep. Two mana target player sacks a creature and a flashback for seven. I'm kind of glad they went with the From the Vault art. But it would have been cool to see the, the original art again. But the From the Vault is definitely better quality. Yeah. Oh, there's a Reviving Vapors. Yeah. Four mana, reveal the top three cards uh, and put one of them into your hand and you gain life equal to that card's CMC. The other ones go to your graveyard. And the rest go... Uh, yes, graveyard. A Song of the Damned. So one black mana. Uh, instant speed, add black mana to your pool for each creature card in your graveyard. Yeah. Yeah, one of our old players, uh, Steven, played that in Popper. Oh, yeah. Crazy combo deck. Ooh, that sounds yeah. fun. Yeah, he might have a cool foily option, though. Oh, yeah. Seismic Assault. That's I a nice like it. one. Is that the weather light getting bombarded it with stuff is. from the ground? Yeah. Wow. Um, so three mana enchantment. You can discard a land, land card. And shock something. Yep. Deals two damage. Yeah. Any target. Uh, Jake, can you put that a little closer to the camera? I want to try to read that flavor text. Huh. There you go. In a war for survival, Dominaria itself became a weapon. The malice is gone, but the danger remains. Yeah. Truly right. Yeah, pretty, pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Super sweet art. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <gasps> Anything with the, with the weather light on, I'm a fan. And the foil. Nice. Oh, yeah. Mog's Crusher. That's cool. It's a nice foil there. <gasps> Here you know it is. You know what's left? It's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. We're going to see if it's all worth it <laughs> right now. I mean, some of those box toppers have higher value than the box. Yeah. Than the cost of the box. I'm going to do a quick run through our rares here. 
Raging Ravine. Noble Hierarch. That's a nice <laughs> one. Gamble's a cool one. Herborg. One of our two Herborgs. <laughs> Jake thought that was the foil one. Nourishing Shoal. There is the foil one. There is the foil Herborg. Full Mater Mage. Yeah. Squee. Goblin to Bob. Rebel Arc. Disrupting Shoal. I think we got two Disrupting Shoals, right? No, only one. Just one. They have two Grave Trolls, right? No, only one. Just one troll. The only one we doubled up on was the Herborgs, I think. Oh. And one of them was foil. Okay. Yeah, that's the only one we doubled up good. on. That's not bad. That's not too bad. I remember I bought a Kaladesh fat pack, and in my Kaladesh fat pack, there was four Panharmonicons. <laughs> Caracas. Now, four not as bad, though. Bears. My Amonkhet pre-release had five Pyramid of the Pantheons in it. Really? And my Yeah, one of them was my pre-release promo. It was not, not fun. Oh. All right. Here it is. Here it is. Our ultimate box topper. Dun, dun, dun. You too could own a box topper if you bought a sure whole can. box yep. of Ultimate Masters. <gasps> and he bent it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> He's doing a good job of hiding it from us. This is, yeah, the suspense is... This is building. <laughs> he knows I'm yanking my hair out right now, waiting for him to flip that thing over. <laughs> Spread the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Jake. <laughs> Fold it up real nice. Make sure it's all Everyone displayed. Ready? Everyone yep. Ready? yep, all right. Here we go. This is it. Dun, dun, dun. Vengevine. Vengevine. Ooh, very nice. Very nice pull there. Yeah, that's a cool one. Yeah, I like the extended border on that guy. Yeah. We can take a look at how much that guy is going for at the moment. That looks like one of the ones that was stretched. Yes. Art-wise. Yeah, it was. Oh, maybe not stretched, just zoomed in. Yeah. Uh, they are, they're, they're all zoomed in. Sorry, okay. not, they're not stretched, but they, okay. they're like zoomed in. So you can see, like... Yeah, you're missing some of the edging. Yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. They got the whole... Yeah, the it, whole it puts, the, puts them more in focus. Yeah, it got the whole beast on that thing. Yeah, they, they could have... Instead of zooming in, they might have just gone back to the original art and... Uh, because the artist doesn't just paint the, the thing. They, right. The, the, the designers yeah. crop it and fit it into the photograph, or into the frame how they want. Uh, that one is going for about $60. Okay, okay. So the crazy super high price that we all saw when the original box toppers came out from the, the Mythic Edition, they've, they've started to settle down a bit. Right. I think the, the Mana Vault is still more than $250, though. I'm sure it is. That's a sweet one. I know the the shop for the first box we cracked open for for pack single or to sell packs was uh, Eternal Witness. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's a cool one. And I like that it's it's legitimately the box topper. It's like once you open the box, it's, it's right, on right on the top. Yeah. Uh, Mana Vault is one forty four. Oh, okay, so they're all they're all going down. There. Yeah, a little bit. And we okay. open up more product yeah. and yeah, kind of saturate the market a little bit. Well, especially now. Oh yeah. So that was a that was a sweet box. Yeah, yeah. that was that was pretty fun. Uh, like no planeswalkers, no big old drazi. A little sad about that. No yeah, demonic we got tutors. some cool stuff. Oh yeah, we got some really. Is demonic tutor a rare? It is. Okay. Um, we did pull um. Uh, oh, noble Herrick. Yeah, noble Herrick's a nice one. <laughs> um, no Gattic Teague, no engineered explosives though. Unfortunate. Is, yeah, 